First and foremost, uh, just a nice warm round of applause for our acoustic duo tonight, Tony and Eliza, who have done a sterling job out there in the middle. Thank you to both of you. And keep that applause going, because it's time now to welcome the senior coach of the Melbourne Football Club to the stage to speak and award our top five, Simon Goodwin. Yeah, thanks, Clint. Um, what a night. 1,200 people in the room. Fantastic to see. Firstly, I want to congratulate all the award winners. It's great recognition of the significant contribution that you've made to the football field and within the community. I also want to recognise the contribution of the players that are leaving us this year. Every player contributes and commits such to our club along the way. And it's always difficult to have an end to some players' dreams. But I do want to thank and acknowledge the contributions of Liam Hewlett, Mitch White, Ben Kennedy and Jake Spencer. I wish each of them the very best for their next endeavours. I want to make special mention to Jack Trengove. You've already heard him speak. What a person, what a family. It's so hard to finish up a journey of someone with such great character. You've given everything you could for the Melbourne Football Club. You've shown courage, leadership, resilience and perseverance. It's a legacy I know will stay at this club for many years to come. For that, Jack, I say thank you. We wish you and Sarah all the very best for the future. In 2014, the club made a significant decision in setting about to define the, and build a culture that will bedrock for delivering sustained success. Culture is all about the people, and I feel incredibly fortunate to work in an environment with such talented and incredible committed people who together drive this football club forward. Every person contributes equally to a strong football department, and everyone's role is important to the success of the team. Some get more recognition, like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on Apollo 13. But it's the Michael Collins who remain in the spacecraft and play their role type that really matter. The ones that are prepared to do the team roles knowing the importance without needing much recognition. We have many Michael Collins, but I want to especially thank a few. Mallory Smith, our football EA. Always prepared to go above and beyond for the staff and the players. To Daniel McPherson, Operating a footy schedule with many components can be challenging. Players are pretty demanding in that phase. You have great understanding of what's important and getting it done with minimum of fuss. Thanks for that, Frosty. To the training services boys, Brownie, Spike, Brian and Marty. We can be pretty demanding as coaches during sessions and you're always accommodating and organised and we're loving your contribution, so thank you. Thanks to our footy technology guys, Pete, Scotty and Owen for dealing with my literate IT skills. Your willingness to push our boundaries in presenting and learning tools were terrific. Thanks to our medical team and our high performance area for the year we had. I have lots of trust in you. It's an area in which we have highly talented people. I look forward to seeing you continually grow as we move forward in our journey together. To the senior football management, Josh Marnie, Todd Viney, David Misson, Jimmy Plunkett, Andrew Nicholl and Brendan McCartney, I thank you for your commitment, passion, unity and support you've given me this year. To the board, led by Glenn Bartlett and CEO Peter Jackson, we couldn't ask for better leadership. You set a clear vision and pathway for this football club four years ago and you've remained committed and aligned to building it the right way. Lastly, to the coaches, we formed a trademark on our first day. We wanted to inspire, be adventurous and methodical. Well, you did that and you continue to do that. I couldn't ask for a better group to work with. Your devotion, togetherness and positive approach is making our players better and is infectious. 
Your actions are always team first. And this is the core value in which we want to define and lead this club by. Well, last week we had a ter terrific example. Jade Rawlings was appointed a coach of our VFL team. It's a role we value incredibly highly in building a successful VFL program and developing our players. When asked to do the role, Jade responded with, if that's the best thing for the club, well, I'm in. It just highlights one great example where we have selfless people prepared to sacrifice for the best interest of the team, no matter what role within the club. Boys, keep doing what you're doing. We're building something pretty special. <laughs> 2017 was a year of continued growth and development. We exited a period too long for the club where there's had little or no expectation for on-field success to a time where expectation grew. It happened because our supporters, media, and wider football community started to see what we were capable of and the potential what the team is going to become. It's expectation that is here to stay. Expectation we welcome and we'll thrive to operate in many years to come. We had gains people can't easily see within our training, our game understanding, leadership, resilience, and our fundamentals. We had gains on the field that were more visible, such as winning in the state against Adelaide and West Coast, and beating St Kilda and others at Etihad at Grand Melbourne aren't meant to win at. All of these are small gains propel the club forward towards its first finals campaign in 11 years. Well, we all know what happened. We fell short, agonisingly short. All of us were bitterly disappointed to miss out and the way things unfolded, as I'm sure many of you here tonight still will be. But we need to use this adversity to grow. Adversity is best dealt with learning. We must understand and acknowledge our failings as we continue to build a pathway forward. We play in the toughest competition in world sport, salary cap, draft, restricted free agency, only rivaled by the NFL. Think about it for a minute. The EPL, Major League Baseball, most money wins. NBA, get four stars to your club, you're a chance. Sorry, track. This industry is tough, very tough. Every experience, good or bad, is an opportunity to reflect, learn, and get better. This is not lost on our group. So for 2018, it doesn't matter what you're trying to achieve in life, business or sport, the similar philosophies apply. The famous explorer, Christopher Columbus, once said, you can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. So what does losing sight of the shore mean for us? We can't always be comfortable, safe, doing the easy things in familiar territory. We need to feel uncomfortable and push our limits without fear, not knowing what's ahead. For our players, it's gonna take some courage. It's gonna take giving to the team like never before. Take unconditionally competing at every contest. It's gonna take sacrifices you haven't thought about before or thought were too great to take. And it's gonna take a love and a care for one another that will build a connection and trust. And it will take a mindset that every day matters. Our boat isn't just filled with players. We also have staff, sponsors, and supporters on board. If we are going to truly lose sight of the shore and break into uncharted waters for this club, we all need to sail as one. You all have the chance to influence our journey, whether it's signing on members, your devotion to come along to our games, your willingness to accept we are on an ambitious journey that will del deliver some exhilarating highs, but will also have some bumps along the way as we map our course. How we think about our club and the way we talk about our club is all a part of what we want it to be. I've already mentioned that we see our culture as fundamental to our future success. Through our actions, we will develop a winning mindset and ultimately a winning culture. It's time to lose sight of the shore. Be brave, 
bold and courageous. Let's go to places that we've never been before because it just might be worth it. Thank you.